know. Ooh, sounds like you're typing. All right. Uh, yeah. You are typing. Okay, okay, there you go. I'm trying to get something up on the internet. Um, Good. So, All right, uh, so uh, let's return to 1947. Um, back to 1947. Here we go. Right. I'm I'm looking at uh, one other thing that I did not uh, mention is uh, two days before uh, Dr. G. Oliver Dickert's, Dickert, Dixon. Uh, is an ophthalmologist. Uh, he saw a blimp-like object. This is two days before. Anyways, Arnold Arnold sighting hits the newspapers on the on the uh, uh, on the 25th, and it gets carried by the wire services, and everybody uh, hears about it. Now, uh, June June month of June. So in no, 47? Uh, yeah, June, June. So okay. uh, uh, Arnold lives in Boise, so he goes over to the Boise Statesman, um, and he meets uh, the aviation editor, who is uh, a man named Don Johnson. Now, Don Johnson is also important in the uh, Idaho National Air Guard. He helped form the uh, the National Air Guard for for Idaho, and uh, he's a member of the press, so he talks to Arnold, and in talking uh, during the time he talks to Arnold, he gets he starts seeing these uh, stories coming in on the uh, on the wire service. So uh, he picks out two or three, and by that time. Um, uh, Savage's story is on the internet. Uh, Rankin's story is on the internet. Those guys are both pilots. Um, the guy from the uh, 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 a weatherman in uh, I think it's St. Louis, uh, U.S. Weather Bureau, uh, a guy named uh, Unger. He comes out of the theater and he sees one. Now he's a weatherman. He 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 knows about balloons and stuff, and this thing is strange to him. Um. So he uh. uh <clears throat> Don Johnson gets five of these cases, and um, and since he's a newsman, he calls up the head of the AMC, Air Materials Command uh, Center. And the commander is Lieutenant General Nathan Twiney. And this is the 3rd of July. So this is um, this is nine days after Arnold has seen his UFO and uh, eight days after it's hit the newspapers. And uh, uh, Don Johnson tells uh, Twining, he says, you know, these things are being seen by uh, reliable citizens. Um, <laughs> he talks about Arnold, and he, he talks about the, at the same time that Arnold's seeing his sightings, um, uh, these forest fire lookouts uh, are seeing um, uh, things in the sky, and there's other people, and and uh, John, uh, Johnson gives him uh, five cases, and he asks uh, um, Twining what he thinks about this. And Twining says, "Well, I can investigate these things." Now, remember, we talked about Symington and Lemay. Twining's the head of the AMC out there at uh, Wright-Patterson Air Force Base, so he, by, on his own authority, he can investigate these things, and that's exactly what he does. So that's why I wanted to talk about Symington and General LeMay. General LeMay is over um, Twining at this time. So Twining ex uh, exercises his authority, and he starts... He tells his uh, one of his deputies, General Brentnell, that he's going to 
investigate these sightings. Um, and it go it gets in the newspapers. Most of most of the people can't read it until the fifth of July. Um, in the meantime, after the fourth of July holiday, the Pentagon starts getting in gear here and uh, uh, a guy named Garnett a lieutenant colonel and his boss who was named Robert Taylor the third um, uh, they're in the collection department and uh, we know about Garnett because uh He's been going out at night, and he's been coming back after the Pentagon's closed. And the uh, Army intelligence officer, he says, he asks him, "What are you doing here?" He challenges him, "What are you doing here? It's way after hours. You're, you know, almost midnight. What are you doing here?" And he tells him, "I'm investigating these UFOs." He says, "I'm the one that's running around and finding all the uh, broken toilet seats and other things that." people are throwing around in the air. He said, but I'm investigating pilots and other things. <clears throat> so the Army duty officer, he says, Colonel Garnett is here. He is investigating. This is on the 5th of July. He makes this entry in his log. Colonel Garnett is here. He is investigating UFOs for the Army Air Force. It's interesting. It's a it's an Army document, not an Air Force document, but that's how we know what Colonel Garnett is doing. Uh, in the meantime, Twining, uh, or let's put it this way, um, uh, Twining uh, uh, coordinates with the Pentagon, and he tells them what he's doing. And the uh, one of the early cases that uh, um, that Garnett is interested in, in, co- in fact, he calls this case number one, is at uh, Merck Air Force Base in California. There's several people on the ground, and uh, one guy in the air who sees these things at California. They're all reliable people. Even the base commander sees the thing, and the uh, uh, CIC investigates it. And so that's number case number one for Colonel Garnett, um, not Arnold. Arnold's case comes later. Um, over the Fourth of July weekend, uh, um, airline pilot uh, flying. Um, up there uh, his uh, co- his co-pilot Stevens uh, go ahead and make a sighting from their aircraft it gets in the news gets almost as much press as Arnold does um, uh, the uh The people in the Pentagon get interested. They send for one of the pilots from Merrick Air Force Base. Now, how do we know this? We don't know this from from Army paperwork. We know this from FBI paperwork. And uh, the number two man in Air Force intelligence at the time, Brigadier General Shuligan, he says, I'm going to break this guy. This guy is lying and I'm going to prove it. And this whole thing is hoaxes. And he cannot break this man. This uh, Stroop. S-T-O-O-R-P. He can't break this man. But, and this guy's a major. Later on, he uh, Stroop becomes a uh, the head of the uh, uh, Air and Space Museum in uh, New Mexico. And when they're interviewing people 
from White Sands and things, he tells his uh, the guy that's interviewing uh, Lieutenant Colonel Matson. He says, "I don't want to hear anything about UFOs. I hate UFOs. Don't you put any anything about any in interviews of that." So Matson, who is interested in UFOs, says, "Okay, I'll turn the camera off." And then he asks these people about UFOs. But this this guy was so uh, uh, traumatized by uh, being accused of uh, being a hoaxer and a liar by General Shuligan that it affected him in his whole career. He hated UFOs. <laughs> so Twining is investigating on his own based on these uh, five sightings. Shuligan decides when he can't break this major, he says, we need to find 10 good cases and have them investigated around the country. He he tells Garnett, or he tells uh, Garnett's boss, Taylor, find me some good cases. So they find 10 cases. Hey. Uh, They break them up and send them to different commands, like the Air Defense Command or 4th Air Force out in uh, uh, western United States. Um, And they send to 4th Air Force, they say, find Kenneth Arnold and interview him. Find Richard Rankin and interview him. Um, And so... uh, uh, that's that. Now, the FBI, by themselves, they hear about this stuff, and they they decide they should just investigate. Um, but Hoover's got a problem with uh, investigating things in the air. Because during the uh, Second World War, the balloon bombs came over from... Uh, um, uh, from Japan, and the FBI was the first ones to capture one. And then the Army Air Force came in and just elbowed the FBI out of the way. But at the very beginning, uh, J. Edgar Hoover goes ahead and he says, we can investigate these things. So he's in early 1947, he's investigating these things. Um uh, in Portland, um, the police and the Harbor Patrol are seeing these things during the 4th of July holiday. And the uh, police put out an all, uh, all cars call. So all cars on patrol are supposed to look for UFOs. And all over Portland, the police are seeing these things and reporting them. Um so that gets back to the Air Force. Um, uh, they do send somebody up. They send two uh, uh, CIC uh, um, counterintelligence command officers to uh, interview Arnold. Um, what they see when they get there is Arnold's got hundreds of letters that have come into him. So they look at some of these letters. They take a few as examples, but Arnold receives maybe 5,000 letters after this, and they get thrown away, unfortunately. People reporting ah. UFOs. In their... So unfortunately, all these early cases got thrown away. Um Early on in in, uh, in 1947, um, uh, on the 7th of July, these two pilots are flying to uh, their their Phillips Petroleum pilots, and uh, they're flying back to uh, Bartersville. They're in uh, at the Kansas Colorado border, and they're flying back to. Uh, Bartlesville, Oklahoma, in a plane. And one guy's looking at a map and the other guy's flying. And uh, the guy flying the plane says, uh, 